So are you going to be saying it this time or me? No, I, 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 I think I can do it. Are you sure? We went through a lot. I can help you out this time. <sighs> nah, I, I, I can get through this. Okay. <sighs> okay. Here we go. Yep. Have mercy on our souls. Hey everybody, what is going on? This is regular. Okay, all right. Okay, I, I, I can't sugarcoat this, guys. This was uh, uh whoo, wow. This was bad. Yeah, I have to be here for emotional support. I'm not exaggerating here when I say this is possibly the worst animated movie we have ever seen, ever. I'm not kidding. Not gonna lie, guys. Um, this, this was not my idea. I was not planning on watching this at all. Um. This was his fault. He was insistent on me watching this, so, um, yeah, this was his fault. Hey, 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 hold on, hold on. I, w- I was just doing it for the content. For the content. I thought it would be funny. I I thought. Well, I, I guess we have no choice. We sat through this thing together, so might as well review this piece of shit. For this video, Gary, the editor, will be joining me today, so this is our first collab review. Figures that this would be the movie that we review first together. Fun, Fun times. times. Directed by Mark Dip, or Mark Dippe, and also produced by One Cool Animation, or One Cool Group Limited, Josh covered this a while back in a YouTube short, just being absolutely appalled by its trailer. I wanted to stay away at first. We could have stayed away, but no! You just had to watch this thing, didn't you? You, you, you forced me to watch Tom and Jerry in New York City. Clearly, you like torturing me. I just figured you would want to talk about it. I didn't expect it to be bad. Like this. I mean... Listen, I knew it would be bad, but at least we can at least find it funny to laugh at, but... No, this movie is seriously awful. I mean, by the end of this movie, I felt physically and mentally drained. It was like watching two hours of f***ing Coco Melon. I watch movies in the daily very often, and no movie in the past two years has ever made me feel this way. There is a specific sequence in this movie that's going to be coming up that actually gave me the worst case of secondhand embarrassment. I had to actually look away and just <laughs> look at the ceiling or something just to get my attention away from it. <sighs> All right, so uh, let's go over this movie, if you can even call it that. So basically, the movie starts off with the family having a barbecue party, and uh, Marmaduke wants to be there, but in his words, he's being punished for being a dog. So after some hijinks with a bee, Marmaduke goes after him and breaks the window and falls into the pool, somehow causing a giant splash and flooding the house. Okay, guys, he's not a whale. He's a dog. He's not even that big of a dog. I mean, look at him. He's fucking malnourished. He would barely even make a splash in that damn thing. After it was captured on video and it goes viral, a famous dog trainer known as Guy Hilton sees the family's troubles and decides to help. He says that he has never failed training a dog before and was looking for a challenge. He views Marmaduke as this challenge and offers his help to get him into a dog show. What follows is a series of funny montage sequences that go on for what feels like 80 freaking weeks. This would be one of the many moments in this movie that just loves to waste your time. The entire sequence was filled with unfunny comedic slapstick, padded out action moments, borderline animal abuse which would be enough to get PETA involved, and it looked like the animation was getting worse and worse with every frame. I mean, look at this moment here where both characters just freeze. They didn't even edit that out! And I'm not kidding here, this scene literally goes on for about 10 minutes. <sighs> and when he finally gets his training done for the dog show, he meets Zeus, who is the antagonist of the movie. This dude, looking like Falcor from Never Ending Story, is voiced by J.K. Simmons. Wait, 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 wait. He was voiced by J.K. Simmons? THE J.K. Simmons? Yeah, I'm just as shocked as you are. Like, why the hell is he here? Like, did he really need the paycheck that badly? The character he plays is extremely generic. It's the overly competitive type who is a jerk to everyone. Of course. By this point, the movie is just dragging and just utterly failing to grab your attention with freaking anything. Basically, while getting ready for his first dog show, Zeus tricks Marmaduke into eating a whole buffet of food. While doing that, he becomes incredibly bloated and gassy. <sighs> See, I knew where this was going and what was coming. I was prepared for it. So, he manages to suck up his bloatedness, somehow, 
and goes on to do the dog show. However, his stomach starts extending somehow. I just have to point out that clearly these people making these kids films have some weird fetishes that they, for some reason, want people to know about. And he needs to release. Marmaduke sees the trophy, tries to climb to it, but his belly causes him to bounce and uh, he, he falls on top of the trophy. Hmm? Oh, you actually want me to say something about it? Oh, well, if you insist. <clears throat> so he takes a shit in the trophy, right? And they manage to drag this scene out as much as possible. Everyone is frozen. The camera pans to the crowd one by one. And yeah, this is the scene that gave me the secondhand embarrassment. It's just not funny. It just it just hurts to watch. Like seriously, gas explodes everywhere. Everyone runs out into panic. Okay, we get it. We get it. Okay, move on. Nope. Show the birds passed out now. Okay. Yep. It's still going. I. I ugh. After that happened, Guy essentially lets him go, calling him a failure. And the two kids and the family get bullied at school because of what happened. The family then talks about how he isn't destined for greatness, and this causes Marmaduke to run away from home. Now, they try to have an emotional moment in this film, if you can even call it that, but it just doesn't fit, nor does it work at all. I don't even care about any of these characters, because maybe besides the mother and possibly the son, they are all basically unlikable. They try to make you feel sorry for Marmaduke because he screwed everything up, but you just can't. Him running away basically means nothing because he goes back soon afterwards. The cat of the family basically decides to stand in the middle of the road, forcing Marmaduke to save him in a pointless action sequence, going slow-mo for literally no reason, and convinces him to not give up. He's not a failure and blah 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 blah. This didn't need to happen. This all could have happened at home and we didn't need a try-hard emotional moment. Determined to actually, uh prove himself again, he goes back to Guy Hilton, who refuses to take him back. So, Marmaduke travels the world, doing some hard tasks such as climbing up a pyramid, swimming away from sharks, and traveling through the snow to show that he's capable of being trained. His courageous acts ends up getting on the news somehow, and this makes the whole town root for him. They also turn against Guy Hilton, making him out to be the bad guy for not wanting to train Marmaduke. Freaking hilarious. You're the one that told Marmaduke you'd turn him into a world champion! That's right, tell him how it is! After he agrees again, Guy Hilton apparently has some sort of love interest that just shows up. I'm not even sure why this is important, but okay. And finally, the last act of this movie begins. Yeah, last act. I should mention that this movie is 1 hour and 30 minutes long. It somehow manages to feel even longer than that in some scenes, but when it tries to actually tell the story and not focus on stupid cringe humor, uh, the pacing just goes super fast out of nowhere. Like, so far, all we had in this movie was training, f***ing a trophy, and now he's just trying again. This was all done in 50 minutes. 50. Minutes. By the way, these human designs, please, step away from the camera, back the f*** up. I don't need to see this this up close. We are then introduced to the other dogs in the show who will be participating. One is a Mexican-Spanish stereotype, one is the furry bait poodle, one is the strong bulldog, yada yada yada. Basically, you see these dog designs and you already know what personality traits to associate to them. It's not creative in the slightest, and by this point, you begin to just get more bored and annoyed. We just watched the dog show for the rest of the movie. It is not interesting at all. Well, apart from that one dog from China who then proceeds to start rapping during his talent show segment. Yep, that that happened. Kind of reminds me of this. Working all day, now it's time to unwind. Kick back, relax. Take but I'm just going to stop playing it there before I get more of a bigger headache. Let's move on. Isn't it weird that the poodle is putting on a pop song yet no one would understand what she's saying. I mean, in this world, no one can understand these dogs. They all sound just like normal dogs to these people. None of this makes sense. Like, what the hell's going on? And then we get Marmaduke's performance, which is just him basically playing with his kid owner, doing some sort of cowboy roleplay thing. It's some sort of reincorporation from earlier in the film, but I'm sorry, by this point, I just don't care. My attention is gone. Zeus mind controls the whole audience into giving them perfect scores, but then... Oh no! The judge is a... a, a, a fake? Who cares? I don't! Because of this 
STUNNING REVELATION! The trophy is now won by the Chinese dog. I am calling him the Chinese dog because I don't care to remember his or anyone else's name in this damn film. This causes Zeus to get angry and steal the trophy, and Marmaduke stops him. After trying to charge at him for doing this, Marmaduke does a front flip over him, causing Zeus to run into the camera stand. The camera stand falls over, Marmaduke saves his kid, and of course... <sighs> we have to have that fake out death scene. Not only that, but this was certainly drawn out. They shine a light on him for some reason, and the dad starts talking as if he's at a funeral for this goddamn thing. Yeah, guys, he's he's really dead. All right, let's get the shovel. Oh, oh, look, he's still alive. Damn it. Well, everyone celebrates, they take away Zeus for trying to steal the trophy, the pink poodle gives Marmaduke a kiss, and the movie ends. We see some 2D sequences, which arguably look better than anything else in this film, and Marmaduke gives us a... <sighs> a very, very awful rap during the credits. While the credits were rolling, they had all of these posters as well, just making references to movies like Jaws, and Fast and Furious, and Star Wars, The Lion King, freaking Spider-Man! I just... <sighs> By the end of all of this, you just had a slow-mo shot of Marmaduke eating food. The end. This was not an easy movie to sit through. It wasn't. Again, I was aware of how bad it was. And I thought it would make for a funny review. But Jesus Christ, no movie has ever made me feel this drained by the end of it. Both me and Josh. My lack of attention also made me suppress all memory I had of the movie as well. I barely remember the last 40 minutes because it was like a fever dream of awfulness. The animation in this movie, where do I even begin? It was terrible through and through. A lot of it lacks polish, it looks unfinished in a lot of areas, and the uncanny human designs does not help at all. I mean, look at these people. What is that? Some of them look like stick figures, and others literally just look like sausages. Like, what the f***? If you guys thought that Disney was bad with body portions when it comes to their female stars, look at this shit. I mean, they are literally skinny when it comes to their top half, and then their hips are fucking huge. Like, what are they squeezing out? Giant fucking babies? I mean, these are ridiculous. The humor also fails throughout. Nothing is funny. It's just completely cringeworthy. You're either cringing at the awkward dialogue being presented, you're cringing at the terrible visuals, or you're cringing at whatever the movie tries to have emotional moments. It's just cringe, cringe, cringe. I, I think I'm done. I have nothing else to say. I can't. This movie is getting a zero out of 10 for me. This film literally makes Adventures of Buckwild, a true story, and Agent Fox look like a fucking masterpiece. This was seriously the worst animated film I have ever seen. It, in, in my personal opinion, I view it worse than Food Fight. Yeah, I know. Food Fight is a terrible film, but at the very least, I can still laugh at how horrible that film is. It's at least fun watching that. There was nothing even remotely enjoyable about this movie. It is truly that awful. Seriously. Do not watch this movie at all. Totally skip it. It's gonna be a, I don't know, a 1.5 for me? The only saving grace was watching with you, to be honest, which was the only bit of entertainment I somehow got from this experience. Otherwise, yeah, it's, it's the lowest rated movie I've given thus far. I'm gonna try my best to forget about this as fast as possible. Well, I have to thank Gary the Editor for joining me in this video. Whew, it was torture, but we got through it. If you guys want to check out his channel, link is in the description, or you can click right up here for the link. He also does his own movie reviews and whatnot, so go check him out. If any of you guys saw this movie, tell me what you thought of it. I doubt any of you liked it, so I'm not even going to bother asking that. For anyone who has watched it, I'm sorry for your loss. Gary out. Well, that... that just happened. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe for more content, and hit the bell to be notified of my next video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and remember, you're hearing it from a regular bunny in a regular world. See you next time.